Hello Amazon.com, it's yours truly, Bo Shevisu, and I am coming to you, my materialistic minions, with this Moza Mini G. Oh, I am so tickled pink about this. Yes, I've actually run Spartan races with NBC Sports where I've had to carry something like this. Let's get some almonds, dry roasted almonds, which is gonna be a mistake later because I know that's gonna get caught in my throat. Nice little pull tab, excellent. Man, box, don't need that. And, ooh, it's very apple-like. Mmm, mm, mm, nice. Okay. And those dry roasted almonds are good. Oh man, I opened it upside down. Hey, see, that's why you watch these videos, so you don't make these mistakes. Okay. Hey, there we go. And nice little foam. Hey, it says, welcome. Yeah, quick start kit. You don't care about that. You want to see the actual product itself. Whoa! First impressions. Man, this gimbal system is uh, is big. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hold this up next to it. So as you can see, this little G4 is much smaller, and this extends all the way the heck up there. All right, let's go ahead and pull it up, shall we? As you can see, it is well situated in there, which I can definitely see myself using this nice foam case to transport this around. Ooh, it's actually lighter than the other one, probably because I don't have a battery in there. But um, let's take a close look at this guy, shall we? So you will see that there is the gimbal, and uh, oh, very buttery smooth. I don't feel any kind of catch in that whatsoever. Oh, okay, I, I can see why people are liking this. This is a much better design, much more precise engineering. There's kind of a powder coat on this. As a matter of fact, this is metal. Um, and it feels like a light aluminum compared to the G4, which is all plastic. Interesting, so this is uh, Kind of a ruggedized version, dare I say. <laughs> Not to say that, uh, oh, nice, it actually has a little, oh, check that out. Okay, okay, so this little, little, um, uh, what do they call these? Um, uh, little rolly um, uh, switches, uh, PS4 type. Um, I'm drawing, I'm drawing a blank, sorry, I went to sleep at like 3.45 in the morning last night. But anyway, this is not on the G4, so right there. Okay, so, all right, let's go ahead and break out the rest of the contents, and then we are going to pause the video, get this thing mounted, so you can actually see this thing in action. All right, we see a cable, we see a, ah, a battery, we see a, oh, that looks like another frame to actually mount on there. Huh, I wonder, and also that's metal. Wow, that's burly. And, oh, uh, for charging the actual battery. So this battery would go in there and you would charge and put the USB cable up against there. That's it, so that pretty much looks uh, like the contents of that. Let's go ahead and get this battery charged up. And we are back and here we have a fully charged little gimbal, the Mini G. As you can see, my GoPro Hero 4 is locked and loaded. It is all fully charged. I inserted the battery, screwed that on, and we are going, gonna go ahead and uh, hold this down in three, two, one, holding down. There has been no calibration or anything, and oh, look at that. As you can see, it automatically righted itself. Oh, that is very responsive. Very nice, isn't that sweet? Okay. And if we go ahead and open up the app on my iPhone, and we're gonna click search for Moza, and click on it, and we are connecting, connecting, hey, and it is connected. And as you can see, oh, there is a little controller right there that allows me to adjust the pitch and the roll and the yaw. So we're gonna go ahead and push on the pitch and see what happens when we go up. Ooh, nice, and down. Oh, very nice, uh, up a little more, right there, okay. Yaw, which would be side to side. Oh, very nice. So theoretically, I could just sit, sit, set this up and uh, not touch the thing and uh, just be a few feet away with my iPhone and control this. Well, that's kind of neat. But hey, let's go ahead and uh, oh, also play with the little, um, the little guy right here. The little ooh, that's nice. Oh, ooh, ooh that's that's very responsive. Beautiful so far. Okay, I'm approving of this. Let's go ahead and turn this off all the way. Um, a good rule of thumb is um, 
Wait, ah, there it goes. It, it looked like it was slowly dying. Ah! Good rule of thumb is uh, turning it off before you start to uh, mess with the camera or anything. Uh, because there's a fairly sensitive electronics in here and you don't want to be messing with the camera and forcing the gimbal in a direction where it shouldn't go. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and start recording right there and you should be able to see me. And uh, if I were to walk without the gimbal on, uh, just so that you can kind of get, get a taste of what it is like um, without the gimbal being on. So I'm running right now. Very nice. Okay, so there's our control. Let's go ahead and turn on my camera and we're gonna have a side-by-side. -side. And here we go. Uh, we are going to be recording and three, two, one, clicking on and it is on. Beautiful, okay. Side-by-side -side. and three, two, one, jogging. Ooh, how'd that look? Was that okay? Yeah, okay. This time I'm gonna actually show you what it looks like as we are jogging and running along. So here we go. And we're going down and we're going up. And then let's go through here and then over here. And then we can swing through there. Oh, that is very, very responsive. Oh, sweet. And let's go ahead and rotate this towards us. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that works magnificently. Huh. I'm really impressed with that. All right. So overall, five out of five stars. Do I give this? Well done. I really like the engineering much, much better than my previous uh, brushless gimbals. And back we go. Whew, okay, I was trying to talk and actually run at the same time. I gotta get in better shape. I'm getting fat. <laughs> uh, well, that is pretty sweet. Five out of five stars. My name is Bo Shevasu, and I look forward to testing and reviewing more fun, fantastic things here on Amazon.com. And let's go ahead and shut this down. And it's done. Ah, that is just so cool.